Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, and I'm going to be looking at some unpredictable housing conditions in a puzzle by Rock Rat Zero today. Um, Simon's requested I have a look at this, not too sure um, how it came to his attention, but I'm really looking forward to giving it a go. So um, it's a variant on outside Sudoku, and I'll explain the rules when we get there. Let me just mention our apps which have a number of brilliant puzzle styles available hundred well there's a hundred puzzles in each app apart from the gas the genuinely approachable sudoku apps which have 60 each i say each because we're on the verge of launching the second gas app and uh, really looking forward to that now there's other you know plenty of great puzzles in those apps is what i'm telling you also you can join our patreon and uh on Patreon, we have the Alice in Sudoku Land Hunt and all the other hunts we've had in the past. Do check it out. There is some brilliant, brilliant Sudoku content there and indeed plenty of cryptic crossword content too because we resolve those as well. Now, um, anything else going on? Well, sometimes we stream, sometimes we put cryptic crossword content on the main channel, sometimes we... Um, or we have merchandise, do check out the links under the video. But I am going to be looking at this puzzle by Rock Rat Zero, who's featured on the channel a few times. And yes, let's see what the unpredict unpredictable housing conditions are. The rules are these. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So we're going to be putting one to nine in every row, column, and three by three box in the grid. The digit in the grey circle is odd. And in each set of digits outside the grid, Exactly one digit is found in the corresponding row or column in the second box from the clue. All other digits in the first in the set will be found within the first three cells in the row or column from the clue. For instance, a 1-2 clue above column 1, if this was a 1-2 clue, it would mean that either 1 is found in those cells and 2 in those, or the other way round. So, okay, that rule is fairly understandable. Exactly one of the digits in each set is in the second box. So for this 1-2 clue, one of those digits is there and the other one is there. In this 2-4-5-6 clue, one of them is there and the other three are all in the first box. Okay, I can understand that. I hope you can. Um, interesting rule set. Let's see how it plays out. Let's get cracking. Uh, right. So in the single clue instances, they must always... Look, this is interesting. They must always be in the second box they see. Okay, what I'm going to do is go around the grid marking. So my corner marks symbolize the only places within a box where a digit can be. Uh, if I put a mark in the center of a cell, it's indicating that those are the only digits in the center, uh, sorry, those are the only digits that the cell can be selected from. So in this column, we're learning that nine has to be there. In this column, one has to be there. Let's keep going around the grid. Two has to be in that box. One has to be in the second box it sees. 9 up there, I'm going down to this 6 in that group, this 5 in there with the 9s, this 3 in there. Ah, now it gets interesting, 1 has to be in there, 9 has to be in here, in this group, and 8 in that group. Right, now, now what can I use, right, the 9s were interesting, because that rules 9 out of these positions. There must be a 9 there somewhere. That gives us an X-wing on 9s. Which I can't really use at the moment. 1s. Um, ones. Those 1s ones ruled out a 1 from here. This might be a pencil marking test of skills here. Ah, oh, that's interesting. So I've reduced 1 to one of those two positions. Oh no, I don't... Yes. I know... In this clue, 1 and 7, one of them's in that group of cells and one of them's in that group of cells. Well, the 1 is not in this group of cells because we know 1's down here. So the 7 is the one in that group of cells. 1's in that group of cells and now we know where. And I get a digit in the grid. 
Um, now, seven being in that group of cells, ah, this is interesting, where we have the same digit appearing on both sides of the grid. Maybe I should have started a look for that at the beginning. But anyway, seven is the digit from the left. Seven is the digit in the second box. So eight is in the first box. Um, look, same in the middle. Set one, seven, and seven, eight. Now, that yes, that means that seven has to be in those cells and has to be in those cells. So it's in the overlap. It's in that group. We know exactly where it is because we know which row it's in from the clue we looked at before. Seven's in one of those. One is in one of those, and therefore not in these cells. Eight must be in those cells, and therefore not that one. Now, what about six, seven, eight here? Yes, well, partially. We know seven can't be there, so that must be in the first group. But I don't know which of six or eight is definitely in the second, so... That runs a bit dry. Yeah, it's a bit harder having exhausted the single digit clues. Now, what about this? Yes, this works. This one seven. Seven can't be there because we know that's a seven. So seven's in that group. One's in this group and overlaps with the one in that group. And that puts one here. Therefore, these aren't a 1. I think this has to be a 1 now. It's its only possible position in that group. And we know 7's down here. Yes, OK, 6. So I'm now looking at all of these columns. Sorry, I'm very bad at colouring them. I've got a, a mouse I don't love. Yes, this column is vital. 8 is in one of those cells because they can't be 7. Then 7's in one of these. That can't be 8 anymore, and this is the only place 8 can be in the box. Um, OK. OK, 5, 6, 9. Well, 9 can't be in those two cells because 9's in one of those two. So 9's in that group. One of these is a 5 or a 6. Ah, threes in an overlap here, so it's got to be in the overlapping area there. Then five is up here, and two and four are both in this group. What about two and three there? Yes, three can't be in those cells. So, sorry, it is in those, so it can't be in those, so it must be in these. Then two must be down here somewhere, but it can't be there because of this two clue. Now I'm probably just going to not spot what the pencil marks are trying to tell me. There is every chance that'll be going on. Probably quite a lot. OK, the, there are some four-digit clues here, 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 and here. Now, they're putting one of their digits in the second box, but the other three must all be in the first one. No, that's very interesting here. Three, these cells must be picked from 3, 4, 5, and 8. I'm now using the the central marks. But this one can't be a 3 because of the clue at the bottom. This one can't be a 5. 3, 4, 5 and 8 must appear in these cells, so that's not a 4. Now what's happening... Ooh, there's a lot of this going on. 6, 7, 9. Don't know much about that. But these must be from 2, 3, 4, 5. Ah, that is giving me something very definite. These cells can't be 2 or 4, because 2 and 4 have been confined into these. So that is a definite 3-5 pair. Then this is 2 or 4, and 1 of 2 or 4 is over here. Is that 3-5 pair? Yes. Look, it's being looked at by that set of 3s. So we get 5 there, and 3 there. There's a set of 3s there. There's a set of 5s here. That's going to put a 5 in one of those two cells. That's the digit in this column that is outside the first box. So those two are left to be a 6-9 pair. Nice. Um, that... Oh, look, I know what digit this is. This is a weird naked single. It can't be a 1. It can't be 2 or 4, because they're in this box in those positions. can't be 3 or 5. It also can't be 6 or 9. So we're left with 7 or 8. 
but eight is somewhere in that group of cells according to the clue. So that is a seven. And this isn't. That doesn't do much else for me, weirdly. Well, that can't be a seven now. Oh, but this can't be six or nine. And it can't be three, four, five, or eight because they're locked in here too. So it's a two. Interesting. Um, this one had to be one of two, three, four, or five. So that's a four. No pencil marks there. There's a two somewhere in these cells. Now there are two clusters of four digit clues that I haven't used yet. But hang on, let's just do a bit of Sudoku. One and eight are placed here. I don't think I have any answers to say where. That can't be an eight though now. Ah, so eight, right, two of seven, eight, nine have to be in these cells. Well, that's eight and nine, clearly. And seven has to be in one of these cells. We know where it is. It's there, not there. Still trying to remember to tidy up my pencil marks as I go. I think that's very, very important in this puzzle, more than even usual now. 965, okay, that clue's done. 243, that one's done. Two, okay, all the clues looking down seem to be done. I was going to try this. Ah, oh, there's an overlapping two between the two clues. So that's the digit that goes in the central box. That group is a 456 triple. We can fill them in. Because 5 is going to have to be in the first column, then 4, then 6. Take out those pencil marks. Um, I'm a bit worried that I've done this puzzle in a kind of mechanical way and maybe it has a slightly better beauty than I'm appreciating if you do the clues in the right order. This is how I would tackle it in a competition, so I don't feel much guilt. Um, two has to be in one of those cells, so one's in one of those and that couldn't be one was what I was doing there. Ah, three and four are shared between these two boxes. Well. We've got three marked in there, so the four must be in those cells, three must be in these cells. Now, five, six, seven, eight, all of these cells must come from that group. Only one of them goes in this box. It's not five. Don't know how to mark that, but five, six, seven, and eight are here. That is not a one. Um... Oh, and that was the fourth of my my interesting clues. Right, six, seven, nine. Yeah, that's interesting. There's got to be a nine in those cells in column, in row seven. So there is a nine over there. There's also a seven in that group because of the sevens we've got positioned. The seven can't be in the middle because of the five, six, seven, eight clue here. Ah, the nine can't be there because of the nine clue at the top of the grid. But the reason I was getting slightly excited was because I now know six is the digit from this glue that's in the middle box. Six can't be there because there's a six triple marked. One and seven are here. Two, six, eight, nine have been pencil marked in this box. These must come from three, four, and five. Two and six must be over here somewhere. Now there's a clue I haven't looked at. This one, oops, this one two clue. Hmm, but I don't know what it's telling me. There are probably clues that I have. Okay, this seven eight nine. That's vital, right? We've got the eight over there. So seven and nine go in box, or well, the first box it sees, which is box three. That can't be a seven. These are from two, that is two or seven. It can't be an eight because of that. It sees four, one, six, three, nine in its column and five in its box. Oh, I've got a seven, one clue there. Right, oh no. Um, no, I was going to say seven had to be in that group, but I don't know that. And I'm not sure I could use it even if I did. 
That's weird. Um, right, I'm getting a bit stuck. Ah, oh, 7 has turned up there. That can't be an 8, because it would be in the same box. There is a 1 in these three cells somewhere. Let's just buy Sudoku. Now, I've said that one of those is a 7. So the 7 in row 6 has to be over this side. Getting a lot of pencil marks in this box. Just 2 and 6 to pencil mark. 2 can't be in that group. And 6 can't be in that group don't think it's quite worth putting in all the other possibilities yet. Now, one of these is a 9. That's going to... Oh, look, there's... No, there's not an X-Wing on 9s there. No. There's an X-Wing on 1s? No, I already know 1s in one of those two cells. It's a strange puzzle, this. It doesn't really work out in the same way I was expecting. That is 2 or 8 because 7 must be in that group of cells and it sees all the others by Sudoku. Um, 8 is definitely in this group because it's not in that group so it's also in that group. I'm going to pencil mark it. I don't know if it helps anything but it's definitely right. So these include 8 and 1. Two's in there. Oh, I'm a deduction or two away from really doing much here. And I kind of have a feeling I've looked at all the clues. So beginning to get a little concerned about progress stalling badly. Um, right, maybe I need to tick off... I don't know, I've kind of marked something for every clue. Now, one and two... Either there's a 1 there and a 2 there, or there's a 1 there and a 2 somewhere here. I don't know what that means. Ah, 5, 6, 7 and 8 are confined in those cells, so this can't be 5 or 8. Sorry if you noticed that a while ago. That's a 4. Um, five, six, seven, eight, four. So that can't be one or nine either. So that's two or three. This one can't be three or two. So that's one or nine. Oh, look, there's got to be a nine. A, yes, I've worked out there's a nine and a seven in this group and six there, haven't I? That has to be two or eight. Ah, bingo. I know what this is. OK, this could be quite helpful. This can't be 7 or 9, because they're in that box. It can't be 6, because we've got a 6 in that group of cells. It sees 1, 3, 4 and 5 by Sudoku. So it's left to be 2 or 8, but 8 is in one of those two cells in this column. So that is a 2. Yeah, it's no wonder the pencil marking is a bit hard to actually interpret. That's not a 2, but that is. And now the two in the top box, in box two, has to be there. And they're not twos. Um, come on, do something else. Place a different digit. It, what I'm hoping is that one of these digits I place will fix some other flavour of digit by just by leaving it only one place to go. And that will be significant. Right, there's a seven in one of those cells, so that's not seven. Here, not so sure. One of these is definitely a five, because five's in a group there, and five, six, seven, eight have to be here. Four, one, two. One of these is nine. We knew that. This is ah. This can't be three because there's a group with a three in there. Oh, come on. We're getting close in this row now. 
five, four, three, four, one, two, six, seven, eight. No, stuck again. Four. So six is in one of those. And two, one. I haven't pencil marked down here at all. Oh, but it can't be in the... Yeah, there's a one in one of those. So one is not in these cells. One is in this group. Now, these are fully pencil marked. That, I think, makes this a 2-6 pair. Is this a 2-3-6 triple? No, I haven't fully pencil marked 8. Oh, bother. But 8 can't be in these cells. There's a one nine eight triple. Right, hang on. This group I'm concentrating on can't have one nine eight or 7 in, or 4. So we're selecting from 2, 3, 5, and 6. Have I ruled out 5 from being in them? No, I haven't. Bobbins. I can rule out 5 from being in that by the 5 at the bottom, but can I? Is there a way of ruling out 5 from being in this? If 5 was in that, we'd have 8. Three, two, six. Ah, oh. feels like I'm one clue. Like the puzzle is one clue short of giving me enough information in a way. I mean, I'm sure it's not. Let me reassure you, I'm not alleging that. I just think I have not done something right. Let's see what I, I'm going to mark around the grid when I've actually filled something. A clue fully in. So that two, three, four, five's done. That one's done. That two's done. This one and seven is done. Um, that six, four, five, two is done. I shall use purple for the horizontal clues. This eight, nine, seven's done. Let's look at the horizontals this way. That eight is done. One and seven. Oh, have I even looked at this? Look, there's a one in one of those cells. That's vital. This checking off process is essential. So there must be a seven in those cells. And this is huge. This is huge. This is a big deduction. Because it over... Well, it rules out a seven out of here. That becomes an eight. Now let's get rid of the eight possibilities. That's also not an eight. The 7 here stops this being a 7, and it makes this a 7. Now there's got to be a 1 here in these three cells, but there's also 1 in those two cells. The overlap position is there. Then there's going to be 1 in one of those two. So I've corner marked everything except 2. And this can't be a 2, so I think this is a naked single. Let me just check whether that works. It can't be 5, 4, 6, 1, or 2. So we've got 3, 7, 8, or 9. But we've got a 7 pencil marked in there, 3 pencil marked down there, and 9 in those cells. So that is an 8. That is naked. Thank you to my pencil marks. Right, that can't be 7. So we've got 1, 9, and 3 to place. Now, can this be a 9? No, because 9's in one of those cells. So that's a 3. Crumbs. There, there really is an admin, an admin puzzle. This may be why Simon didn't fancy it, because he could work this out. 1, 9 pair there. Then 2 in this row is going to be in one of those two cells. Um, one, eight, two, three, there's a seven here. This is a five, eight pair. <clears throat> I don't think I know the order for definite. Oh, I've never used this being a odd digit. It's three or nine, because it sees one, seven, and five now. That's... Interesting. I wonder why an odd digit was needed in this puzzle rather than just m more clues. Well, I can only speculate. I'm never going to work that out. Um, 
Now, so have I done this one seven clue? No, because I still haven't placed the seven, but I know about the one. Now, seven and eight, that can't be an eight. Eight is in one of those positions. Nine's in one of those. One, that is done, so I can get a purple tick there. Three, four, five, eight, no, this really isn't done. And six, seven, nine, I haven't placed them all. Right, let's look up the columns and do green ticks. One and two. I can't get a tick for that. Oh, but look, one and two. I can take one out of that cell and two out of that, and that lets me place both of those in box one. That's quite big. Bit of negative information really doing the job. So we've got a three nine pair in the top row. Um, and that was interesting. One and two. Still can't place them. Three somewhere there. Five is in one of those two. Seven and one. They're done in this column. Seven and eight. Right, there's a seven there. There has to be an eight in one of those two. Six. This one has two, four, and a three. <coughs> I'm going to mark this as done because as long as I obey this. Oh, that's an interesting five, eight pair because this can't be seven. Seven is reduced to one place. So I'm marking that as done. I get rid of seven out of that cell. This is where seven is in box six. That eight actually has sorted out the one eight pair. That sorts out the one nine pair. The nine gives me a three in the odd digit circle. Six there. This is a two four nine triple. don't really know about that. I don't think, or do I? Yes, nine clue there is in one of those. That's not a nine. That's all I know. Um, now, what was I looking at? The nine clue here, that's not done. The two, three going down, I haven't placed the two. The one going down, I have, so that gets a green tick. This one I must have done, because the old column's done. Seven there, and eight in one of those cells. Why couldn't 8 be there? Because of this 7-8 clue. So that's an X-wing, oh, which just puts 8. Oh, hang on. 1 and 2 that I just placed there, they take some pencil marks out. They don't finish anything off, though. 1 there or 2 there. Okay. Now, 1 and 7, that clue's done, so that can go green. There's no clue there. 9 in one of those cells. Eight, five, six, seven. That really isn't done. And three and four. That's not done. Okay, but that was useful kind of auditing process. Uh, that can't be a one by Sudoku pencil marking, etc. Hmm, I kind of expected a little bit more to be revealed still, and I didn't really get it. Six is in one of those. So seven and nine are here. Now, what were the numbers I hadn't? I thought I'd corner marked everything here, but it turned out I hadn't done five or eight. I still can't do them as far as I can see. Five can't be in any of those cells. Oh, that's quite interesting since it can't be in this either. So five is in one of these two. I can corner mark that. But eight. Eight can still be in any of those four as far as I can see. And I didn't corner mark three either. Oh, I, was, I don't know. Honestly, not very good at seeing what I've done. Nine. That could be a nine. Seven and eight in one of those two. Oh, well, this is an interesting clue. Have I even tried this? Two of those have to appear here. It's seven and eight. Ah. So that's not 8. That gives us an 8 here. 6 has to be in one of those, and it's also in one of those. The overlap is that cell. So that clue is done. That's 6, 7, 8. And I don't know why 
that 789 is done as well. I'm sorry, I've got a phone going. I'll be back in a second. Right, sorry about that. I'm going to have to go and pick up my son, but I think I can finish this first. Um, let's hope that's not crazy hubris. Um, 179, so that clue was done. Right, now, come on, 17928. That is three, four, or five. Where's the nine in this column? Don't know. One of those two cells. Um, what have we got? Okay, thank you. Sorry. Um, right, seven, six, eight, one, two. And apologies about the editing, which I'm sure I'll have messed up. Now, this is four, five, or nine, just by Sudoku. One, two, eight, six, five. That can't be five. Uh, fives in one of those. One, two, eight, six, five. We've got three, four, seven, and nine to place. Oh, I don't know. Okay, we need a nine in one of those two. And there is a nine in one of those two. That is an X-wing. Oh, there's a nine in one of those two, so there's not a nine here. So that's a nine. Now that's the sort of thing we need. Three there. Nine in the corner. Um, that can't be three. We've got four, five, and six to place in this box. That's a four, five pair. So that's a three. Um, three. That makes this a six. That's its only possibility. Six, seven, three, one, nine, eight. This has become a two since we got the three there. This is now four or five. It can't be four. We've got a four in the box. That's a five. That's a four. That's an eight. That's a three. It is coming now. This is a one, seven, nine triple. One, seven, nine. So this is a six, eight pair, but eight has to be in one of those cells. This is a five, nine pair. Don't know the order. Um, going up the middle, this can't be a four. This can't be a six. That's a four, five pair. That's a six. Pencil marking is paying off a bit now. Seven, six, eight, two, one. So if you thought it was a mess before, well, at least we're getting it done now. Four, five pair there. Four, five pair there. That's two or nine. Four, five, seven, three, one. Um, this can't be four. Yeah, keep tidying up. That can't be three. That can't be three. So we're placing three in this box. Um, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I don't know. Oh, that could be six. Or that could be five. Well, either way around, it forms a pair with that. And this is seven, which is a very intricate deduction at this late stage. Um, but I'll take it. I will take it to the bank. Uh, eight is there in this row. These, that is six or nine, and that's two or six. Three, nine, six. So, that clue's done. I should do this audit again. That clue's done. One and seven. That clue's done. One and two. This one's done with its nine. This one is effectively done, and in fact, I can sort out this five nine pair now. I see that. Uh, this clue, six is placed. Well, it's effectively done. Seven and nine have to be in the first box. Now, going up, ah, we need a one there to fulfill this clue. Excellent. Don't know where two goes in one of those two cells. But that one lets me unwind this triple, so I can't mark that as done. This one is done. I can see the three. This one, I can place the five now. That was worth auditing. Green there, seven and eight here, that's done. Six is done. Two, three, four, they're done. Nine looking up well, that is going to get resolved. Two and three looking down again, that's going to get resolved. Seven and eight, they're done. The nine here, look, that's vital. I can put that nine in. And that is going to be the last thing I need to do the puzzle. So let's just finish off the ticking. Well, I can't do that one. Or that one. Okay, nearly finish off the ticking. But this is done here. This triple, four, two, nine, seven there, four, one, 
two and six. Now we keep running up the grid. We can do six and three. Nothing looks like it's gone hideously wrong, he says, crossing his fingers and hoping it's true. And I've just got one pair left now. Five and four. And that is correct. Um, eight, five. I'm just going to check these downs off for no reason. When I've been told the puzzle is correct, I don't need to do this, but I do it anyway. Because I'm a completionist sometimes. There we go. That is the unpredictable housing conditions by Rock Rat Zero. And I do hope your housing doesn't have rock rats in. Thank you very much, as always, for watching us on the channel. It's a delight to bring you these variants. Hope I did some editing there. Otherwise, you got to witness a bit of interaction. Um, anyway, we will see you later, uh, what, tomorrow, for more Sudoku fun. Bye for now.